about to whip you guys to another DC TV talk. This week I'm covering this, well, for this episode I'm covering uh, part two. Just been covering The Flash and I'm covering the season finale of Black, uh, Black Lightning. Uh, 13 solid episodes. They already got renewed for season two, which, which I'm happy for. I still have the biggest gripe that I've been had since the show. Not since the show started, but since like uh, I started to realize how much they doing, they did it. It's like, it's like the format of the of every episode is the same they they haven't really changed it up that much yet it's like you have the the story and then you have a fight at the end with some kind of music playing in the background they always try to get like some kind of hip music or, uh, I said hip what the hell is wrong with me but they already got some kind of music like playing during the the the, the uh the, the the final fight in the in the show and i kind of feel like the mu- the music it's not overwhelming, but they play it too long. I see you playing it like spurts or, or, or like a certain spurt, uh, but they play it for the entire time. Like I think they had a design designers, uh, Timmy Turner playing for like four minutes. I don't even think that song that even that long. I don't, I mean, I had it in the loop, but either way it go, uh, Black Lightning was still dead. It got a lot of flashback. We saw Black Lightning as a kid. We saw his father, his father in Gambia, this whole thing. This, uh, the, how uh, Gambia uh, met Black Lightning. Uh, pretty much just, just it, it kind of was an anticlimactic uh, 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 season finale. Wasn't bad, it was just anticlimactic. Because you have the ASF coming to attack them and take them down. We get finally get Jennifer using her powers to to help her dad because she's like, he's, she she's the charge and he's the battery, so we we have that he comes back you know what I'm saying at first he didn't have his powers, but Jennifer helped him give him a boost off and so then they take down the AS health and then you still have. We find out that Tobias was the one to bring Lala back, but we don't know why I, I don't think they really gave us a good reasoning as to why in my mind um and i don't know if he's dead now or, or what or he's gonna come back later still don't know what's going on with that we have tobias finally got what he wanted from the asf which is something i guess the what makes green light i guess tobias won't have to use the, the medicine no more he's just gonna finally just he'll be able to comp- be com- more complete you know so he won't have to take the shots anymore we got a uh, background on cyanide, which I kind of feel like was shoehorned in there, but you know, it's still pretty. Uh, you, you understand it, because it was more, it was a background of cyanide, but at the same time, it gave you reason as to why Tobias, or, or people follow Tobias. So, you can, uh, teach his own. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, that's really it. The ASF get took down, and which we, we pretty much expected, but I thought it was going to be more from Tobias and Black Lightning, but the fact that they didn't do that, to me, is a more of a positive because you, you don't have a one-season villain. This is probably this might be the only villain, I think, in any of these shows that didn't get took down at the end of the season, and he's going to make it to next season to where he, he's, they still have this yin-yang thing going. Well, not necessarily yin-yang, but this feud going on for more than one season. I don't think we've seen that in any other CW show. So, yeah, I think that was dope. But, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed the season. So, <sighs> it's gone. Next season, I'm pretty sure that it'll be up to 22, 23 episodes like the rest of them. But uh, I'm, I'm going to dive into The Flash from this week, where I thought was really good, a really, really good episode. Where we have Barry and Ralph bumping heads again because Barry, well, Ralph thinks, like, hey, we have to kill him. Barry, like, no, that's not the way heroes do. You know, there's, there's always a, another way for people like us. And in Ralph's mind, dude, there's not. Every single time we do something, he's a step ahead of us. And and once again, they think they have the way, and, and they get the guy with the, who, who raced the breaches. As soon as they breach through, DeVoe and his wife breach through to, to fuck them up, pretty much. They just pretty much fuck them up. We see the end of Killer Frost this episode. Iris gets stabbed. The when Killer Frost got stabbed, and um, and and I I didn't see that coming at all. I was shocked as fuck. So I'm like, damn, they just the knife is through. I mean, the sword is through her. Like fuck. Uh, the the, the Harry's half his uh his, his brain things. It, it's just a lot of different things going on, and I think 
this is probably the best we've seen DeVoe because we like, yeah, he really thought every single thing through and, and everything that happened, he wanted it to happen. So I thought that was a, uh, something dope that they did this episode. Uh, just feel good outside, man. I'm just embracing how good it feel like good. Feel outside. But, uh, yeah, it, 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 Ralph gets got. Like, didn't see that coming. I thought they were going to protect him to maybe like the last few episodes. Or I didn't think they were going to ever be able to get him. And the way they used him, his body, to bring back the original DeVoe look was excellent he he's pretty much invincible but my biggest question now is what is his main mission because he's succeeded with that we still don't know what his mission is and that's what bothers me and, and also we have a Barry who who really feels like yo I fell Ralph if we would have killed the vote possibly he I could we could have saved him because he had Ralph had a chance to kill him but he didn't he chose not to and it cost him his life like it, it, it and Barry kind of feel like that's on him pretty sure the next couple of episodes they're gonna, they're gonna be talking about hey you, you did everything you could and like it's gonna be like no you you didn't you could have killed him and none of this would ever happen he's killed 11 people 11 tw 12 people and now Ralph somebody who was scared fearful of life and you guys promised to protect the entire time just like you did with everybody else has been killed on your watch and there's nothing you can do it does Ralph come back like I think he's dead I think he's gone I think, they, I think he's gone for good like I, I don't know man that that was that was big man, to me that was that was huge uh, um, because Barry just had to sit there and watch and I'm, I'm still wondering why is DeVoe keeping him alive what other use for him does he have uh, uh, yeah, that 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 was that was that was that was crucial. And also, does DeVoe's wife now have Killer, Killer Frost's power? Because I, I because I know they've been talking about that, what they're gonna do about the Killer Frost problem. Like we can't keep they did because they didn't give it enough time to Killer Frost and Kaylin. So if they did they take to Killer Frost and just give it to DeVoe's wife, and so eventually she's going to be the new Killer Frost. I don't know, but after they kissed last night, so that's what I'm assuming she has a power killer frost now. But they're, they're those two are geniuses, so if she want to get rid of it, she can either touch him or they can just, you know. But I think it's going to come into play when they least expect it, and that's going to ultimately help the Flash, and, uh, Team Flash, get over on DeVoe. But I still, we still have to see what DeVoe's plan is, in my opinion. But fantastic episode last night had a lot of heart had a lot of depth had a lot of emotion from the characters uh every everything played and everything made sense i guess when you really think about it because the Vos initially wanted flash to to train ralph the entire time all that was in his plan and so he's, he's able to use his his ability to his fullest so now you really think about it even though this season hasn't just been a as the greatest flash season of all now everything's starting to make sense and it's kind of uh, you think things you didn't like at first you, you see now you're like oh, i see why that happened i see why this happened so guess they guess the writers knew what they were doing <laughs> you guys let me know what you thought about down in the comments hit that like button subscribe to my channel i catch what you guys like